Alright, so first and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalom. A Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few Aqua. And uh, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Now it's going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And I actually was inspired to do this lesson by uh, listening to the elder Manat the Zakba of the GMS South Carolina camp. And, uh, you know, I showed you that clip there in the beginning because, you know, that was back when I was in the world, you know, and uh, let me see here. This was back when I was in the world and everything. And, you know, I have, you know, I was going all over the place, man, you know, on Bourbon Street, New Orleans, you know, uh, down there on Mardi Gras, you know, having a good old time in a mirthful spirit, you know, but when I came into this truth, you know, all that changed, man. You see that? I was, you know, hanging around Edomites, you know, spending cash all over the place, loosely, you know. I was everywhere, man. You know, I've been to Florida, Texas, you know, New Orleans, uh, uh, Maryland, Philadelphia, you know, all over, man. You know, but when I came into this truth, you know, all that changed, man. You see that? You know, I, yeah, man. I was uh, flying all over the place. You see? And uh, let me see here. I was out there celebrating my birthday. You know, I'm, a, I'm what you call a boiler maker, you know, or iron shipbuilder. And this was a birthday cake that was made, you know, uh, to me, my 30th birthday. You know, celebrating my birthdays, the holidays, going hard, man. You know, Christmas, Easter, all of it, man. You see, going to the, you know, going to the club, strip clubs and all that with my brother. You know, and you see what sign he throwing up. You know, we, you know, all had drinks, you know, I had on suits and ties and all of that. Spending money, man. You know, smoking, drinking, you know, you named it, I was doing it, man. You see? This is another picture of me down here on Bourbon Street, you know, in a very mirthful, party, bugged out spirit, man. You know that? Let me see here, you know, but, you know, and, you know, this is, you know, some of my family here, but, you know, just having a good old time, man. You know, but when you come into this truth, this is for you newer brothers and newer sisters, when you come into this truth, all that changes, man. You know, I actually was going to show another clip. You know, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. You know, you brothers and few sisters should recognize this image here. You know, I, yeah, man, all over San Diego, California, you know, I done been to Washington State, you know, just just flying all over the place. You see that? Uh, what's the name? Toledo, Ohio, you know, bugging the hell out, man. You see that? But when I started coming to this truth, when I started coming into this truth, this is a picture of me. You know, I guess I was standing at the you know, ocean's edge and somebody decided to take a picture of me. You know, somebody I was dealing with at the time, you know, and I started to realize that something was different about me, man. You know, I had a dream one night, you know, and, you know, um, from there, you know, I think Yahweh Shai or maybe an angel revealed himself to me, you know, and told me to do more research, you know, and as I did more research, you know, I started to, let me see here, started to stumble across the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, right, teaching his word, and then, you know, the light turned on for me, man. You know, I started reading more, started studying. They gave me the names of the Lord, what the MOTB was, started going into prophecies, right? Listen to the bishops, the elders, you know, all of it, man. You know, <clears throat> and then I wound up meeting some beautiful brothers. You know, I, I met the brothers in Virginia first, you know, and, and I guess these are the, uh, you know, some of the South Carolina brothers, you know, and also the GMS Charlotte camp. 
you know, and, you know, I started slowly coming to this thing, you know, and then, you know, I, I became a part of Great Millstone, man, teacher, right, out there on the highways and byways, you know, studying, man, you see that, so, you know, yeah, man, I was of the world too, man, you see, bugged out, you know, you see, I got, you see me there with the arm around my neck, I ain't know what the hell was going on, you know, but I knew something was up. You know, I'm sitting here spending damn near $200 at the Thomas Jefferson Hotel drinking tea and shit. You know, I had Edomite servants, <laughs> you know, and all of that, man. You know, just just, just in a party, very mirthful spirit, man. You know, but then the Lord pulled me out of all that, man. You see that? This is a, a picture here. You know, I started praying more and, you know, and started writing and all of that, man. You know, I was started spending time to myself in hotel rooms. This was me here on New Year's Eve, you know, listening to the apostles and the elders and the brothers. You know, you see, I got my glass of wine and, you know, and I started, you know, reading, man. You know, taking notes and all that by myself, man. You see? So, you know, I just want to do this, you know, just a few images. You know, sometimes, you know, images speak, a, a, you know, a thousand words. You know, so for you brothers out there, you know, that's coming to this truth, it's okay, man. If you find yourself alone, you know, and, and by yourself, because the Lord may be working with you, man. You see that? The Lord turned me into a messing through. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Let me see here. Schlock you. <clears throat> Missing throat. Missing throat. And it says a person who dislikes mankind. You see that? Back when I was in the world, I loved being around people, man. And people loved being around me. You see that? But I became a messing throat, a person who dislikes humankind and avoids human society. You see that? And every now and then, you know, you got to go to the grocery store and stuff like that. But as far as that purdy or that party, mirthful spirit, the Lord took that from me, man. You see that? He took the drugs away and... You know, all that, man. You know, eating abominable food, still eating shrimp, pork, crabs, and lobsters. You know, I, I cut my hair and all of that, man. Right? And that was through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So, you know, again, you brothers find yourself alone. It's okay, man. You know, just continue to be around the brothers. You know, now I have beautiful brothers that I that I can go to, man. You see that? Let me see where the brothers at. I got beautiful brothers, man. Lord gave me something a lot, you know, uh, much more, man. All right, there's the elder back there in the background. You know, some of these guys, they done fell out. You know, but yeah, man. You know, gave me some beautiful brothers, man. All of them, you know, they teach the word. You know, so let's go ahead and grab some scriptures here. It's locked for me rambling on, but I wanted to, you know, just show just a few images. That's all. You know, this is the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 21. It reads, If so, Slocky, if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, right? That ye put off, Slocky, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. You see that? So, you know, back when I was in the world, you know, and, and the spirit of the Lord jumped on me, man. I put off the old conversation, man. You know, and hey, man, I was, I, yeah, man. You know, I was robbing, stealing, you know, all of that, man. Just, just very worldly. See that? Riding around, you know, just lost. Confused as hell. Bugged out. That you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust you see that so you know all of us probably can bear testament to this how we was corrupt man the men of the lord you know we was through continue on here and be renewed in the spirit of your mind you see that so we have been renewed man in the spirit of our mind man you see let me see let me see if i can go back you know we've been renewed man you know, now, you know, us brothers out there are teaching, doing the work of the Lord, man. Right? Fighting for that penny. You know, doing this work. And we pray to Yahweh by Shema Shai that, you know, we don't become disenchanted and turn back to the world.
Because the world has nothing to offer, man. You see that? Let's keep going here. I want to read some more precepts. So, yeah, man, I was through, you know. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, most Jake, you know, did, you know, little things. Man, I, yo, I was spending like eight, nine thousand dollars maybe on a damn red eye ticket, man. You see that? Just to go fly some damn where. You know, this is the book, and I'm and Thawada Yahweh for pulling me out of that crap, man. This is the book of uh, St. John, chapter 15, verse 18, and it reads, If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. And that's right. You know, just a quick testimony, you know, I was dealing with a, you know, a, 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 a woman, you know, of the world. And, you know, when I came into this truth, you know, I was, you know, always flying out to, you know, San Diego and stuff, you know, and then it seemed like when I came into this truth, I didn't even tell her. She just knew. And that was the spirit of the Lord, man. All right. And then maybe like a couple of days later, you know, we wound up breaking up, man. You know, and she was the one that initiated it, you know. So, yeah, man, you know, the world going to hate you, man, when you come into this truth. You see that? Your friends, family. All of that, man. Let's keep going here. If ye were of the world, the world would love its own. You see that? So, yeah, man, back when I was in the world, you know, the world loved me, man. You know? And some of you brothers out there, back when you was in the world, your friends or your family, they loved you too. But they wasn't, but, but they didn't know what love was, man. And what is love? To keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the best of your abilities. You see, if you were of the world, the world will love its own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. You see that? So yeah, man, the world hates us now. You know, because see what it is, this right here, man. When you come into this truth, you know, now Jake got to look at himself, you know, and see, you know, him for who he is or her for who she is. You know, and they see that the light is on you, so therefore they don't want you to be in the light. And scriptures talk about that, man. How, you know, our people, they love uh, darkness rather than light. You see? So, you know, you gotta, you have to realize that this is a blessing, man. All right? Let's grab this, too. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34. This is a real quick blessing through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Think not that I come, it's like a think, think not that I come to send peace on earth. This is Yahweh Shah speaking. I come not to send peace, but a sword. You see that? For I'm come to set a man against variance against his father. You see? And a daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law in, in Shlokia, and the daughter-in-law against her mother. You see that? So the Lord's come back. Right, and he's causing division, man. Some of you sisters out there, you know, your family don't want nothing to do with you either, man. Cause they don't see you smoking no more, being a harlot no more, right? Eating abominable foods, right? Still celebrating after the ways of the heathen. You see that? Listen to this, and it's like, and it reads, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. That's right, man. You know, like me when I first came into this thing. You know, I had a big thing come out, you know, where, you know, you had people out there bearing false witness against me. I had to leave Virginia, man, and come down here to North Carolina, man, because my family, you know, they started looking at me weird, man. Hey, see how the Lord works? But hey, man, it's a blessing, man. You know that? You know, it's all a blessing, man. Count it all as a blessing, you know? Back when you was in the world, you was through and bugged out. You didn't know who you still calling yourself black. Right? Having a good ass time. And then the Lord allowed you to come into this thing, man. Right? And to start praying and studying. You know? And now the world looks at you like you're crazy, man. But it's not you that's crazy. It's them. See that? That's through. Let's go ahead and read some more, man. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 17. It reads, Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, which is Yahweh Shai, he is a new creature. You see that? So when you come in, you know, the Lord is dealing with you, man. You become a new creature, man. And you got some of these Israelite groups, you know, they think that, think that the Lord is dealing with them, and they're still the old person. 
calling themselves niggas walking around here with sticks at camp. Right? Yeah, man. Receiving 501c3, still getting lineups and edge ups. Telling you things like John the Baptist wasn't in the truth. You know, all these Israelite groups, man. Can't break down what the MOTB is because these people, they're still the old man. You see that? They have not become a new creature, man. I'll tell you all, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. You see that? So, who you was back in the world, that's gone, man. You know, and I, you know, and I look at some of these images here, man. You know, and again, I just wanted to, you know, because again, the images speak of, you know, a thousand words. When I look at some of these images, I shake my head, man. You know, but at the same time, I give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, that he, you know, brought me into his marvelous light, man. See that? I was through, man. Yes, I was. I was through. See that? <laughs> you know, uh, let me see what that picture is. I have the pork pie hat. You know, my family loved to be around me, but it's not like that no more, man. You know, again, the suits and ties and all of that. <laughs> yeah, I was through, man. You know? Let's keep going here. I'm going to bring out a few more and I'm going to end this lesson. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 16, verse 25, and it reads, Therefore, it's like it, for whosoever shall save his life shall lose it. That's right, man. You know, and what happened to, you know, happened to a lot of you brothers that's teaching this truth and sincerity? You lost your life, man. But guess what? You saved your life. You see that? You lost the old person that you was, man. You see that? And became new. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall what? Find it. You see that? So if you lose your life, right, for the Lord's sake, you're going to find life. See? You know, nothing, you know, nothing deep. Let me see here. You know what? Uh, let's read this here. St. Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. For what is a man profitable if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for a soul? You see that? So, you know, I mean, there's no profit, man, if you gain the whole world, man. And somebody like me, I was traveling all over the place, and I didn't gain anything. You see, but I gained a lot when I came into this truth, man. Let's read this, too. This is the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 22. And it reads, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. You see that? And, hey, man, the world hates us, man. Some of your family members, right? That old chick that you was with, or you women out there, that old man that you was with. You know, they don't want to be with you no more, man. They hate you. They look at you like you crazy, man. And when, Schlocky, and when, when they say, Schlocky, and when they shall separate you from their company. That's right. You know, so you got a lot of people out there that have separated us from our, you know, separated you from their company, man. You know, they're like, damn, you don't come to the cookouts no more and all that. A lot of people, they don't even call you no more, man. Not me anyway. You know, now, of course, you know, you may have your family out there to call you, you know, stuff like that. Mine does, you know, but for the most part, nah, man, because they know that I'm not, I don't do the things of the world anymore. See that Christmas time come around, you know, I don't, I don't hear from them. You see that? And I don't call them either. You see, birthdays, birthdays, Mother's Days, Father's Days, hell nah, man. You know? So, you know, you brothers out there, you know, if the Spirit of the Lord dealing with you, you know, you've been separated from, you know, the people that you once knew. Continuing on. And shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. You see that? So, yeah, man, I've had that happen to me. Quite a few brothers have had that happen to them too, man. All right, let's keep going here. Rejoice ye in that day. You see that? So you're supposed to be happy when this happens to you, man. You see? Your reward is great in heaven. I ain't got to break that down. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. You see that? So Yahweh you know, us men that's teaching this word, you know, we're the Lord's prophets, man. We endure to the end. You know? Each brother has us, you know has been given a certain spirit now, man, right? Not that same spirit that it was in the world, but, you know, a more austere. Some brothers are, you know, more laxed, 
You know, I consider myself to be one of the, you know, more austere individuals. You know, but yeah, man. You know, blessed are you, man. You see that? So, you know, I just want to do this lesson, you know, just something real quick through the spirit and power of your by Shema Rashad. We were all bugged out at one time, man. Right? But then when we came into this truth, you know, and Yahweh Rathazah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to have some good brothers, man. You see that? You know, but, you know, back then we was bugged out, man, through. You know, so I just want to do this lesson here, just something real quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Rashad. So the next time I say, Shalom. Blessed are you, man that came out of this old man or, or this old way of thinking. Shalom.